you'll do. Barnaby Joyce reveals a cringeworthy comment he used to woo his estranged wife Natalie in interview about his family, around the same time he was photographed in a bar with Vicky Campion. The pickup line Barnaby Joyce used to court his now estranged wife Natalie was revealed in a light-hearted family interview, just weeks after the former deputy prime minister was photographed in a bar with Vicky Campion. Reflecting candidly on their relationship in March 2017, Natalie Joyce told the Weekend Australian of the first words young Barnaby ever said to her, during no week celebrations at the University of New England. The last day was a car rally in a ute and he just came up to me and went, you'll do, said Natalie. I had all the lines, Barnaby quipped in the interview, reportedly mortified that his less than romantic side had been so publicly put on show. It was only a few weeks earlier, however, that the hot-blooded politician was spotted in a bar in Gleb, inner western Sydney, with the woman who would ultimately break up his and Natalie's 24-year marriage. Photographs showed Barnaby and his former staffer looking relaxed and jovial in the dimly lit bar, a year before the pair's scandalous affair came to light. During the same interview last year, Natalie stated that the family had taken a backseat to her husband's political career, and that her daughters haven't really known any different. Odette's never known anything but politics, she said. Every time he'd come home she actually wouldn't go near him because he hadn't been home. It's taken a long time to get that father-daughter rapport. It was further revealed that Joyce's four daughters had to call his personal assistant to gain access to their father something Natalie described as really sad. Barnaby, for his part, described the guilt he felt for not being there for his family, a fact reflected in only spending 22 nights in his own bed the first year he was elected as senator, and 45 in the second. In the end they give up on you. They just don't think you're going to be there, he said. Natalie remained steadfast in her refusal to comment following her hugely publicized separation from Barnaby though her and her four daughters were reportedly disgusted by their father's tell-all interview with M's Campion on Sunday night. During that tell-all, Seven reporter Alex Cullen bluntly asked the former deputy prime minister why his marriage failed. Like most people it's quite simple, he replied. If you live on the road you're living in motels, you're always somewhere else. If you're good at your job somebody always wants you somewhere else. Mr. Cullen went on to relentlessly probe Barnaby with other questions relating to Natalie, and Barnaby relentlessly skirted the issue. I'm not going to go into that space, he replied when asked if the love had gone out of his marriage. That issue stays completely off grounds, he asserted when asked if part of him still loved Natalie. Barnaby declared that his estranged wife has every right to be left alone, and continued to nip all conversation relating to her and the bud. The good thing about being in politics for as long as I have, about 20 years, is I know how to also stop a question. And I'm stopping that one. 